a little weekend video here and I'm just going to go through a few of the options and a few um, areas where I think people are just going wrong slightly and um, it's kind of making things difficult for them. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to talk about um, just trading highs and lows. So I'm going to go through this little period here and mark out um, trades over these few days where um, price was just making a new high and low for the day. So this would have been your first trade long here. Made a new low and then broke up long. Okay, And then we had this short here from the new high for the day and this one then stopped out and then we had this long and this one stopped out and then we had this short okay so that was the end of the day and you're holding this low and this high okay let's just go through and do the next day as well and then i can make my point so then the next day this was the new low then this was the high this one stopped out and yesterday's sh high stopped out and then we came up and we made a new high okay so here I'm just trading new highs and lows for the day. Now, if you're going to make the decision that that's how you're going to trade, um, then what you're essentially doing is, is saying you're trying to secure the trades that are most likely to survive for a long time. So in effect, you're kind of deciding that your exit strategy should be um, to take larger wins because as you can see from this chart here I've had one two three I've had four losses okay and at the at this high here um, I've essentially got two trades running okay so these two trades need to cover four losses so if you're trading just highs and lows and you're taking profit quickly okay then you're going to struggle to cover your losses because the whole point is you're going to get two days um, a week in general where price moves like this and it's going to give you an opportunity to secure some big wins if you're taking uh, profit quickly and then you're followed by two consolidation days which um, you know the longer um, uh, the members who've been trading this longer will realize it happens um, you know very often when price has moved it's going to consolidate for a bit um, you're going to find that any small profits you made here are, are eaten up very quickly and you're, you're ending the week with um, a loss or you know very little pips at all so that if you're just trading the highs and lows um, only then you've got to focus on um, securing bigger wins and try and avoid taking profit early. Um, one technique that I use when I'm trading just high and lows is um, I wait until I've got at least two trades secured in one direction before making it and then I wait for an opposing trade to make my um, exit decision. Okay, so in this instance, when this short triggered, I would have moved these two stop losses up to take profit here. Okay, and that secured me two pretty decent wins, which would have covered the four losses and given me a chunk of profit. I'll just carry on now for another day or two and show you how then I would have gone on from there. So now I'm holding this just this high here. Um, so the next day starts and we have a new low breakout that stops out and then we have a new breakout from a new low that one also stops out and then a third one here which would have stopped out during the Asian session okay I've only got one short run in so I'm still holding this the next day price just breaks down again we have a new low uh, that would have stopped out and then the day ended now in this instance which happens sometimes when price is moving strongly in one direction I've only got one short run in but at the same time you can still um, apply the rule that this is a, a you know a decent win a big win okay enough to cover these um, four losses and give a chunk of profit 
So in, uh, sometimes I flex the rule of having two positions and I would just exit. If you'd have stuck with the two position rules the next day, this would have been your low. Um, that stopped out and this would have been a new low here and um, that one survived. Okay, um, again, you could have held on here and taken profit here or taken profit here. Okay, so the, the point is, is if you're trading just highs and lows, you're going to have to hold for bigger wins. Okay, one technique to do that is to wait for two uh, trades stacked in, in one direction. Okay, um, now let's say you want to trade highs and lows, but and you want to hold some trades, but you want a mix of um, some some shorter trades as well within that okay and that's why um, we have the reverse trade as well okay so if I'm trading high low and reverse um, this would have been my first trade new low of the day this would have been the high okay price came down stopped like this trade this would have been a low um, then we stopped like this high and this would have been a high okay so I would have finished this day with um, these two trades the next day I would have taken a low here okay and then a short from the high here and now I have two shorts and two longs I'm holding and then my last trade here was short I have an opportunity to add a reverse trade here okay price is changing direction and breaking out again and um, then when price breaks up these two stop out okay and then this reverse trade I have the option to manage it more aggressively okay and hold these trades um, let me just show another example of that let's say I took this low of the day and then price reverses and break out. This isn't a new high for the day, but I can take this reverse trade here, okay? And then when my um, long stops out here, I can manage this trade more aggressively because I'll still be holding my highs, okay? Highs and lows. So uh, essentially, you hold your highs and lows, okay? But then you can take other trades uh, within those, which you then use um, a more aggressive um, exit strategy, like the sort of scalping one uh, that I'm doing at the moment. In effect, you're kind of trading two strategies at once. You're holding highs and lows in hedges and, and trying to stack them, um, but then you're also taking other breakouts within that. And then if you want to move one stage up again, okay, then you just trade all of the breakouts, okay? So you take this breakout here long, and then you take this breakout short. This one stops out, okay? You could have taken profit here, and then taken this short, taken this long. The short stops out, we break out, we take profit here. You could have gone long here and then short here. You're in a hedge. Come through the next day, short, long. You've got two hedges now. This short stops out and you could have taken profit on this long here or here. And now you're just holding the hedge from the previous day. You could have gone short there and long there. Break out again. This one's a stop out. You can TP this one. This one's a stop out. You can TP this one here. Set your pendings again. Break out. TP. Okay. You see, basically, you're just changing the frequency of trades and the number of trades you've got to manage, and um, and then finding the uh, you know the exit strategy that that suits you. Uh, you know the key thing to to, to bear in mind if you're going to hold your trades for longer okay there's more likely they're going to stop out okay that's that's the basic logic if you go through this chart and trade 
every breakout and if it closes in profit you exited let's see what your win rate would be well this breakout short would have stopped out this breakout tp this breakout I had a tp up here this breakout lost this breakout loss this breakout long tp breakout long tp breakout long tp breakout short tp breakout short tp you see the shorter you take your profit the higher your win rate is going to be okay so you um by deciding to hold your trades longer um you're going to take more losses and so you need to make sure that when you exit those trades you're securing bigger wins so you know you can see it's all the same strategy but it kind of has to tie in with how you're going to manage your trades and i i've noticed recently that a few people are just trading highs and lows but then um as soon as they get a loss they're kind of stop um taking profit on the other one barely covering their risk and so um you know that they'll be securing a high win rate but um but over time you're going to struggle to get the, pro the sort of price movements to make that pay so just something to consider um you know you, you really need to think about you know which breakouts you're going to trade trade and and what your exit strategy is going to be something i will just add at the end there is that um, you know you can trade all of the breakouts and and hold some and be more aggressive with them as well you know that is essentially the high low and reverse trades all being traded at once so just remember um, uh, think about what breakouts you're going to trade and um, think about what exit strategy is going to make that um, uh, profitable um, any questions or comments uh, leave them below and I will see you all